and welcome to days three and four of PAL World, the new and upcoming game that has come out on Steam and Xbox. Uh, so, last video we stopped off at the night and we're just going to sleep to get through. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to check my quests real quick. What do I need to do here? I need to build a gear workshop and catch... 30 pals, 5 left. Okay, I do not have any pal spheres. So, uh, in the last video, we caught a few pals to help us here. And that was pretty cool. We constructed our first benches, and I taught you how to do the, the bed hack. You don't need a full base, just a, a wall base, or a wall, floor, and roof. Sorry. And let's craft some... I guess we need wood and stone. Okay, let's go get some wood and stone. So I think at the end of this uh, week here, I'm going to make a how-to video or uh, tips so that anyone who wants to start fresh can achieve a lot in their first seven days of PAL World because there is a lot to do here. There is quite a bit. And... I would almost chalk this up to a work simulator. That thing is annoying. Let's get some more wood. So I need to capture a few more of those. I can't see my recorder is in the way of the mission, but... I think that should be enough stone. So I started this base up here. We're not going to keep it here permanently, I don't think. I want to build more pal spheres. Bye-bye. Go do something else. Okay, let's go get a pal. Preferably the lamb. All right, he's confused. Yeah. Excuse me. Get him. Oh, I ran out. I ran out of stamina. Let's test my luck. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's mine. Nice, there we go. So I need two more for the mission. Ah. Got him. Alright, that was easy. Got one more pal sphere, so let's just collect some resources to build more. Let's go here. Whoop. Now I'm not going to catch him, but I do need food. Fight him. Get him. Nice. There we go. So we got some poultry and egg. Let's go cook that real quick. the berries aren't cooked yet I think I was cooking berries so this is just a nice small base to show you we I said last episode are gonna go adventure so I'm just gonna set myself up to adventure in day four and we're going to establish our base in another spot and I want to see here can I get cloth yet yeah how many four good 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 so if we're going to adventure, we at least need some clothes and maybe like a little bit better of gear. Why does it do that every time? I got to be more careful where I aim my cursor. Here we go. Nope. Here we go. Here we go. And now an outfit. No. Outfit. I could do two, but I'm just going to do one.
Nice, he's gonna help. And now, oh, jeepers. Okay, I got him. So it just auto-equips, you don't really, unless you build a new one when you're wearing one. But if you're like, uh, in your undergarments, you don't, uh, need to equip it. So we got stairs. Cool, yeah. So I'm gonna try to finish up and close up the house at least. Make it look presentable. Let's put a door there. Couple roofs. This is will be a slow build process. Like I said, I don't really want this to stay, so I might just keep it like that for now. This is a good spot for a base. Don't like it's a good spot, but personally, as I was playing on my personal account, I have found a lot cooler areas to build a camp. I might try to make a uh, video on that. Give you some locations there. Let's get some, uh, pallium. Wait, what are you attacking? I want to catch it. There. Come here. Hold on. Oh, you're, oh, okay. Wait. That's a new secret. I never knew that. They didn't do that on my other account. The Cativa's mine, uh, pallium. That's useful as heck. Okay. Let's go get a hoot. That shouldn't come so early. Heck yeah. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, okay, I take back my pal. I got it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna... Oh, it didn't. Okay, hold on. Just need him a little bit more weak. Oh, I don't have any more pal spheres. Come on, guys. We gotta go before we freaking... I don't want to kill them all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what I need for Pal Sphere, but you guys are doing a good job. Here, you're too slow. Let me help you with that. There we go, good job. I carry you to safety. Woohoo! I think all of these pals are gonna be leveled soon, so what I'm gonna do real quick too is switch out a couple for the max level ones, like the Lamb Ball there. I'm gonna swap out for a level two. The Cativa, I don't need them. I think Chickapee I'll put on. And just have them start leveling up. And this is a good secret. Keep all and like all of them as close to the levels as possible. Because you are going to need them later. Like there is no doubt about it. You are definitely going to need it. Oh! Ah! Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Don't don't do it yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let me catch him. No. Actually, yeah. Oh, too soon, too soon. There we go. Catch him, catch him. Yeah, new. And we leveled up. It's a who crits. Heck yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's finish up this cooking. Because I have other stuff to cook. Alrighty, that'll be a good member to our team, I think. So, we're on our way to capturing 30 pals. I wonder if I can get that done today. That would be a lot of pal spheres. So, I might have to go gather a bunch of materials. Something really important, I don't think I have it here yet, is storage. Get a wooden chest as soon as you can. This allows your pals to store stuff. So when they're foraging for you, like, I think they just drop it somewhere. I don't exactly know what happens to it, but I use the, uh, the chest. So we're going to do that real quick so that I can, uh, help them out. And like I said, each tree drops about 22 wood. The reason they're dropping less is because we went around and hit them before. So, oh, stamina. Stupid stamina. You know what? Real quick, I'm just going to upgrade my stamina. Just because it is better that way. Having a little bit better. And tech. So we got 13 tech points. I like to try to do the whole progression path linearly. Like straight through. 
um, but I kind of know what to develop first. So we're going to pick the logging site and we're going to grab a parachute for sure. Parachutes are so useful, get that. Pal gear workbench, that is our current mission it wants us to do. Make sure to unlock that as quickly as you can. And then as well as the egg incubator, uh, no spoilers, but you're gonna need that. And a stone pit. Now anything else, I got two points. So why don't I just go with the defensive. These are defensive structures. I'll build a couple and show you. So let's go here. Let's build the chest. Actually, I'm just going to build it outside. It seems easier for them. So we're just going to throw it right there. Okay, I want to store all of my resources. I put the game mode creating the world on normal. You do not respawn with your stuff on normal. I repeat, you do not respawn with anything on normal. So please make sure to either, if you want to respawn with your stuff, pick casual, which is just as it sounds, nice and casual gameplay. Or make sure to store your stuff before you try to go adventuring because you tend to die quite a bit. Like, it's harsh. This game can get quite uh, abusive. Uh, can I go down safely? Nope. Ouch. Okay, let's go through. I'm going to chase that icon here on the compass. We're going to unlock that area. And like I said, we're going to rebuild our base. So, possibly. I don't have any pal spheres, I don't think. No, none. I don't need to worry about that real quick. Let's go quickly adventure down here. Uh, I can just jump. Ooh, random pal spheres. So that's like your your loot, I guess, that you could call it. Now I definitely want this guy. This guy is useful. The uh what is it called again? Come here. Chickapee go. Attack him. Why did you miss? Get him. No, never mind. I don't want him to attack the uh Mamoret. That thing is brutal. It will destroy you. Come here. Come here. There we go. Let's catch it. Here we go. I got him. I got him. For sure. Nice. So the Gomos is a pal here. Let's find it in the Search Fox Park. Penguillet. I still need to find those for us. Ah, Gamas. So I believe his, yeah, he uh, helps with planting right there on the work suitability. He is planting level one, so he'll plant seeds for us, which is really useful. And this is what we were adventuring towards. So I might move the base to around here, we'll see. I know a good spot back. So, oh, oh, by the way, most people probably are going to complain about the map cursor on xbox you are supposed to use the d-pad to travel like to to travel the cursor like this if you use the stick it does that which is useless and probably everyone's complaining that it's a glitch and i promise you i think it's by design so yeah so now that we've discovered a new location we get an extra point i'm gonna head back to my base real quick And I'm going to craft more pal sphere. Just one more, I guess. Oh yeah. So we got two pal spheres. So that's very, very good. Now let's see here. What else do we need? We don't have much here. And that's like I said, by design. So you see the egg incubator, the ranch, those two are useful. You'll come across eggs in the wild and you'll get to breed them. It's really wicked. The berry plantation. That's why the uh 
gum. The weird little plant guy is very useful, is because he'll help with that, and you get your pits here. This is so that you can generate materials. Uh, each pal has a job. As you discover them, you will get different tasks, basically unautomated, and your base will become like a resource camp, and it'll become self-sustaining. You can go make another one, and so forth. I love that mechanic, but I think the biggest problem, and if Pal World ever gets their ears on this, I think the biggest problem is you don't get the experience from the other base. I feel like if you have another one of these, this is the base thing. This is what makes a base a base. Okay? I feel like if you have multiple of these, they should link the experience. So all these guys making experience and working end up making experience for you wherever you are linked closest to your base. But no, it's per base. So I don't understand the point of having multiple bases besides like maybe different fast travel points of your own and I guess maybe different locations in general to just travel to easier but you know it would be nice to have shared experience between oh I guess we already did start a berry plantation so that's dope we're going to plant those seeds real quick actually I'm going to be smart before we do that I'm going to equip him the uh, gum tree or whatever the heck that guy's name is let's get him he is a Gumas. Yeah, damn it, I'm so close. Gumas. So if I get the Gumas, uh, let's replace the Kativa. And you put him out with you. Like this. You just shoot him at it. He'll start planting, and you can plant with him. And it doubles your work speed. So you don't sit there forever planting different uh, plants. Because eventually you're not just going to be doing berries. You'll be doing a lot more other plants. So, and of course, if you had a water pal, you would put them out and help you water and so forth. But you, you just get what you get. So let's start producing some berries. And I think the day will be coming to an end in about five to ten minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really stock up on some resources. Good, good. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, let's eat a, a grilled chickpea. Yeah, those are always tasty. And how about a lamb, kebab, lamb ball kebab? Yeah, kebabs are always good. Those are tasty. Okay, I want to go to the missions. What do I need to do again? Build a pal gear workbench. What do I need for that? Uh, that's not in here. That's in here. I need more wood. Of course, always wood. I suggest, highly suggest finding a good area that generates trees constantly. Because it's just a nightmare to get wood all the time. Alright, so sitting at level 7, by the, it looks like sun is starting to set. So we gotta hurry up on this. And get this mission done. Build it. Build it. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw it right here on the ledge. Okay. He's running. Come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna be dumb by the time he gets here. There we go. Whole 20 second waste. He could have been here. Why don't you stay here? Anyways, that is the quest. We are now PAL box level, space level 6. So we, like I said, no spoilers, but I needed to unlock the egg incubator next. So we've got the egg incubator, and I think we messed up and we don't have the crusher. So hopefully we can level up in time to get the crusher unlocked to build it. And we're going to try to... What I'm going to do, since there's not much here, there's really not much, and I've only got three pals. I am going to teleport over to here real quick. Like I said, D-pad. I'm so used to using the toggle. And I think we're going to scout out an area to build a base. Now, the area I found was way back there, which I don't really like. But with some pal spheres, maybe I'll just catch some pals in the early evening. Let's see here. Ooh, this thing. Get these. 
It's a uh, special thing. Splash down. Okay. Let's swim. Oh, uh, by the way, if anyone's wondering why the game is missing, like, sound effects, music, and stuff, Xbox is having issues with the game. I guess the game is having issues with Xbox and Microsoft, so they're working on patching it all up soon. So the audio, the quality, and the functions will all be a little bit more advanced the next time we come back. So, it's becoming a little dark. I think I will just catch you, and you, maybe, and be done with it. You, get him. Nice. Come back. Nice. You, come here. Attack. Never mind. Don't attack him. Oh, yes, we need that one. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, last... We need this guy instead. I need this guy. Oh, no. Okay. Pokemon. Uh, pals. Oh. You. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, I missed. That was the last pal sphere. Come on. Every time I need these guys. Oh, just get murked. Nice. There we go. He's done. Got some flame organs. Destroy the kitty cat. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, nice. Okay, this one. Oh no, we're just in a battlefield now. No pal spheres. Come on. Lesson learned. Craft more than three. There we go. Oh. I'm, I'm damaged now. And Okay, let's get out of here before we just get destroyed. Okay, let's go. What? How do you? So, I think that's going to conclude day three. We're going to sleep and start day four. I think. I think. Let me see if I can craft any pal spheres. No, that's the wrong crafting table. I can. I can only do two. So, I'll do that real quick before we go to bed. All right. Let's uh, sleep. Welcome to day four. This is day four of Pal World. My goodness, this is just bare. Okay. So what we need to do to start the day today is do a craft a bunch of Pal Spheres, I think is the smart choice. Because I have 15 to go to catch for this tutorial quest. And I want to finish that, honestly. I want to get that out of the way. So, let's just get some wood. Oh, it's damaged. I guess that'll have to be enough to repair it. Wait, I got confused. Good, the axe is repaired. Okay, so we're gonna go get a couple trees and some stone. Man, those ones are so annoying. They need to make it chirp less. Like, I understand it's supposed to like be angry or something, but dude, calm down. So that should be enough stone. I honestly forgot what exactly I was trying to do, but here. Caught. He didn't even attack him. He was just invading us. There we go. Five more of those for the experience bonus. That's going to be a, a fun one. So. 
What I'll do before anything is I'm going to craft another wooden chest because that other one is full and they need stuff to put stuff in. So there we go. Now they're going to start collecting more resources like pallium is going to get stored and stuff. I don't have a bow yet, so I'm not going to bother and I'm going to craft a couple more palispheres. Ah, uh, bye sheep. I'm just going to call him a sheep because that's kind of what he is. A lamb ball. Lamb ball. I guess he's a lamb if he's called a lamb ball. It makes more sense than a sheep. Now, I don't want to go too far this time quite yet. But I do want to go back to try to get one of those torch guys because he will help me cook. And I definitely need that. I need help cooking. You know, it gets crazy how much food you need to cook. Here we are. Got you. You're gonna be an easy catch. Oh! I tried too early. It's a waste of a pal sphere. There we go. Three more chickpeas left to catch. I think that's reasonable. I don't know how many of the, the uh, katikis or the cat ones I need. The kativa. I was close. Is that a chest, too? No. Life link, though. Life monk effigy. Effigy. Now, I haven't figured out what that does, so I will definitely let you guys know as soon as I know. Mm. Gotta climb, gotta climb. Oh, thank goodness there's a platform. Now we jump on out. I think we should take back some stone. Ooh, we're almost at level 8. That's good, that's good. We needed to unlock the crusher. The sooner we do that, the better. What do I need to do the egg incubator? More pallium, 5 cloth, and a little bit more stone. That's doable. Hello, Katiba. Four eggs. Nice. Oh, jeez. I need to go get a lot more resources. Okay, so cloth. I have one wool in total. So it is time to hunt for lamb balls. Let's go get a lamb ball, or more than one, actually. Ah, I don't want a level one. Excuse me. There he is. Come here. Level three. Nice. Nice. Level eight. And we caught all of the five we needed. We only need four more. And we got six of them in total. Cool. Nice. So. We're almost done the tutorial quests, which is great. And to level up, we're going to quickly unlock the crusher. Do I have it? Oh no. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so now that we got that, we're good.
there's not much more we can invest in that it's going to need. So I guess we'll just pick a couple random ones. Let's progress the tree a little weirdly. And on my skill point, I have... I'm going to upgrade my weight so I can go carry more crap. Because you need a lot of stuff. You need a lot in this game. I got enough wool to make only a couple cloth, though. That is the unfortunate part here. I need two more cloth, so I need two more lambos. Uh, maybe I could uh, figure out something else. Oh, right. More wood. Of course, always with the wood. I'm gonna go get a bunch, so. So 88 wood should be enough, I think. That's probably pretty good. All of these guys in the camp are hungry. Oh, I could employ two more. I don't need them, I guess. We'll see. If they're hungry, why don't you start cooking food? I'm kidding, they can't cook. I will give you baked berries and fried egg and berries. The rest is mine, because I'm greedy. Oh my god, look at them run. They're so hungry. Look at them run. It's feeding time. It's like you're having real pets. You know, when your cat runs to the dish, it's like, ah, food. You're feeling it. That guy's nice and chill, the lamb ball. I like him. He's cool. I'm going to feed you specially. Come here. Yeah, he's chill. Let's give you an egg. Good boy. Okay, what do I need to craft now? What would be smart? I guess just more pal spheres. 13, that's what I'm talking about. Oops. I'll leave him to craft the rest, and I will go start capturing pals. So first, let me dump my inventory real quick, kind of. Just at least the important stuff. I think that's good. Go get materials while I'm there. It's no problem with that. Now we're going to go up to here, and let's find some cool pals. There's the, there's a good one there. These guys are awesome. That's the one that helps you water your, your planting garden. And another extra pals. Yeah. 
That was tough. I will get you. I will get you. Just knock your health really low. Fine. I'll still get him. Watch. Get this chest while I wait. Nice. 424 gold coin. And a pangula. There we go, guys. So the pangulate is good for helping you water your plants. Oh, really? You want to be saucy? Saucy chicken. Don't worry. Extra flavor. I'll cut that. So I see more of these water guys, definitely get them. That guy's level 6, I need help. Ha! Ah! Ah! Ha! I got him, I got him, I got him. I swear, I got him. Nice. Get him. Not me. There we go. We three of them? Oh. Let's get cheeky bastard. <laughs> Got it. That's mine. Yeah. Okay, so we got pal fluids. So the water pals are obviously what will give you pal fluids and the fire. Like each of them have their own um, special item they drop, kind of, except the cat guy. He has nothing. He's useless. Just useless. So we're gonna head back to base. Sounds like I'm getting hungry. So let's check that out and quickly eat a bread and we'll eat both of it okay so now i can have more than i do here so i'm going to employ this guy and honestly that guy why not why not we're gonna go into here I don't know what exactly I'm doing at this moment. I need the crusher and the egg incubator because I don't think I actually built that. No, I need two more cloth. Right, so we might not get the egg incubator today. Let's see. Ah, never mind. I spoke too soon. Let's get the lamb ball. Destroy it. Nice. A three wool. We got just a uh, no. We don't. We need more. It's two wool. I think to one cloth or something like that. A two to one ratio. That's okay though. There's not much here. It's just the edge of the world, like the the island, I guess, that we're on, on this side. But as you can see, where we were is all the way like down there. And we're going to end up making our base maybe by that tower. I don't know for sure. I might actually just bring it down to this plateau. Honestly. And just leave it. Or just leave it where it is. Because that's what I did in my original account. And it's kind of worked so far. Especially if you're unlocking fast travel points. Fast travel is one of the keys to the game. This is a key point to the game. Is fast traveling around. You got the rest of the spheres. Go away. So, there we are. I need to repair you. That's what I went all the way and got all that wood for. Good. Good, good. Now, I should. Oh, okay, you know what? No, here's what's smart. Let's just do the cloth. I can only do one like I thought. We're going to put that away. I only need one more. So, that's not so bad. 
here I will put the ice organs, pal fluids, and more of the fiber with the wood. Good. Cloth is not in that one. Cloth should be in this one. Hooray. Gold coins. Make sure to store those. Like I said, if you go adventuring, you might lose all your crap. And if you lose all your crap, then you're screwed. And it just sucks. It sucks when you lose stuff that you found that's valuable or useful. It's torture. So I have only so many beds made, and I need more, I think. Yeah, I need two more beds. So we're going to start with that one. And we're going to start with another row almost. Actually, can I fit it in between? There. Now they won't be uncomfortable. You have to make sure they all have a bed. Otherwise... They just hate on you for your whole life. I did have a chest, I just never even seen it. I will place nothing there. Let's get some pallium. Oh, too bad I can't get them yet. Those green guys help you mine wood. It is so helpful. But not today. Have to stick within our level range. Speaking of, we're almost at another level up, so that'll be cool. Nice. Ah, You violent little kitty. Oh, never mind. I don't get them. That sucks. That's okay. I don't need the kitties. I need lamb balls. So, but whatever. Chickapee! He's caught for sure. No doubt about that. How many more do I need though? One more, one more. Okay, guys, we're gonna get the last chickpea. Nice. Now we're gonna get the experience bonus on chickpea. No? Oh no 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 no! Not yet! Not yet! Not yet! Got him. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And we get the full bonus. Heck yeah! There we go, and leveled up. So let's bring back some wood. Back on home. So that's a rare commodity in this game, is wood. And let's head on back, because the sun is setting. Now, I'm going to try to be smart and save my tech points this time for the next uh, PAL box upgrade, like the base upgrade. Right. So that just in case I don't have the, up, the, the whatever I need to unlock, I can just do it. Because it actually does get annoying when you're waiting on a level up. Like, I got my other account to like level 20 almost now. And I'm sitting there waiting to level up because I needed to unlock something I didn't know to unlock in that order. So... Hopefully these playthroughs give you an idea on how to progress. This is, might be a little bit slow of a progression, but I will be doing faster. I think I'm going to finish off the week in the next video here so that we can just keep moving on forward. Because it does get way more fun. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. As soon as you pass this beginning stage, you will... You'll just skyrocket in things to do. You'll just constantly be running around busy. It's a blast, actually. I like it. I like it. There's not a boring or dull moment in this game, so. I guess I could do a full-on review, but these playthroughs I would consider a review, so I don't see the point in that. I personally really do like it. The mechanics are there, the good kind of gameplay. Everything is set up in a good way, I think. So there's a lot of promise to this, and personally, honestly, like this is going to be the next generation of... Uh, game I will not say out loud 
but we all know the game. We grew up with it, so and so it's a wonder they uh, actually were able to make this one because of how close of a resemblance it is. And like I said, you all know which one it is. I don't need to say it out loud. I don't want YouTube to mess me up. I'm trying to get views, not get no views. <laughs> so, I don't think I can build much today. I'm just going to store everything I need to. I guess the pallium. Oh! What? No, I guess because I have no stone. That makes sense. So I'm just going to store some of my stuff real quick. And we're going to do an upgrade. I think we should do attack. All of them except attack have an upgrade. And I feel bad for it. It's just all there alone being fucking stock. So there. Attack's been upgraded. I'm going to show you the next level's progression. But I'm not going to purchase anything yet. So you got your tropical and tundra outfits. So these are heat and cold resistant. That's awesome. Oh, I will purchase that because I know I need it. This is one of the mission items, and that's a defense. It says assign pal to watch for approaching enemies. So like you get a night watch. That's pretty cool. I I like it. It's uh pretty useful. I guess I might as well do the bow. I'm not too worried here. There's not much that I'm gonna need to grab. I grabbed the most important one. So Let's see here. Everyone is peaceful. Let's cook the eggs. It's a stampede! Alright, and let's start at like a bunch of baked berries before we go to bed here. Just grab a couple so I can put it in their food just in case they're going to starve. They probably won't though. I had a base, they were all getting sick and depressed because I didn't visit, so you gotta make sure you maintain your bases. Like I said earlier, I'm not understanding the point of having so many, but maybe I will understand as I go further. Anyways, it looks like it's bedtime for everyone, so uh, that will conclude days 3 and 4 of Pal World. Thank you guys for joining, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. We will do the rest of the first week of Pal World, and hopefully we'll have a better progression started than this, better base, all that crap. Uh, I'm going to see real quick if, before we leave, I can just place that. There we go. All right, thank you guys for watching, and remember, stay random. Hmm.